300. That's the number of underage people who have been arrested for drinking and driving in Harris County, an alarming number and a potentially deadly problem. You might recall last year, a young mother was killed by an alleged drunk driver who was just a teenager. Our Brittany Jeffers spoke with that mother's family. They're hoping this trend does not continue. She's joining us live now. Brittany. And Christine, for the very first time, the Harris County District Attorney's Office has started tracking the number of people between the ages of 17 and 20 that have been arrested for DWI. And earlier today, I did speak with a mother who lost her daughter to an alleged underage drunk driver, and she tells me that something has to be done. And I looked up, just saw headlights. Carmen Rayner remembers that gray Ford truck driving the wrong way and the desperate moments trying to pull her one-year-old grandson from a smashed vehicle. The child's mother, her daughter, Taylor Phillips, died in the driver's seat. He took a mother from her son that she adored. The alleged drunk driver charged with intoxication manslaughter was a teenager. Not only was he drunk, but he wasn't hurt. He wasn't injured, not a scar, a scratch on him. Prosecutors allege that 19-year-old Eric Hernandez drank for six hours at Servi Car 3 Bar before getting behind the wheel. Today, Chief of the Harris County Vehicular Crimes Division released a staggering statistic. This year, 300 underage drinkers have been charged with DWI. We're talking about those that are over .08, and our numbers suggest that they're way over .08 on their average, somewhere around double that. Sean Tier says there's been four intoxication manslaughter charges this year alone and four the year before. When you put all of those together, that's, that's the troubling stat that we have to really figure out why it's happening and how we can tackle it. Carmen says she has to use her voice and wants stricter laws and harsher punishments for minors. Somebody has to speak for all of them. It's just not her. Um, she won't be the last. That's that's the sad part. Now, Tier says that he doesn't necessarily believe that the number of arrests are up. He just says that there is a heightened awareness around it. He did, however, say that he believes that there should be more education and more discussion with younger children, think middle school age, about the dangers of drinking and driving. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.